guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my Holy Grail skincare products. Some of these I've been using for like two years now. Um, I tend to stick to the stuff that I know when it comes to my skin because it's very, uh, you know, iffy. It like, some things it loves, like I'll use them the first time and it will literally clean them up. And then some things it just will break me out completely. So yeah, I kind of tend to stick to the same sort of stuff and I just want to show you guys what I tend to go for when it comes to skincare. I've got a range of like drugstore to high-end products because I know how expensive some high-end skincare products can be. I tend to stick to drugstore stuff myself and only go to high-end when I know it's good. Without any further ado, let's get started. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is masks. I've gone through a massive like face mask obsession recently. I bought like eight face masks. I, literally went nuts in the space of a week. So yeah, I kind of test out a lot of stuff recently and these two definitely stood out for me. This one in particular and this was literally £2 from Holland and Barra, I'll link it down below and it's the best face mask I've ever used in my life. It literally cleared up everything. Completely. I've never noticed immediate results from a face mask before. It like brightened everything and just made it seem a lot more radiant and I was kind of shocked that something that was this cheap could do so well. The other face mask that was kind of close to this one, but I don't think it's as good as this one to be honest, but still really, really good, is this L'Oreal Paris. It's the charcoal one, the clay detox mask. This was on sale actually. I think it was like down to six pound or something like that. So I had to snatch it up. I've heard a lot about this mask and it's a really, really good alternative I've heard to high-end masks. I personally have never tried any high-end masks because I just don't have that type of money. This actually really brightened my skin. I do think that it kind of clears your skin up and definitely moisturises it as well. I've used this like three times now and there's barely anything used so I think I get a lot more than 10 uses out of it. So the next thing I'm going to go on to is actually something that I did a video on and it is these deep cleansing nose strips by the brand Pureadim. At first I did not like these. Um, but the reason I didn't like them is because I did it wrong. In the video, you can kind of see I was a little bit disappointed with it. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting. A few people told me to try these after I've gone in the shower because it makes it easier to stick to your nose. So I did that and it worked so well. Like, And these were, I think, three pound, maybe three or four pound. So these I would definitely recommend. Um, I know how expensive nose strips can be. So I definitely think this would be a very good alternative to anything out there that's like 20 quid. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is something I have used for a while. This I have been using for a few years and I skipped from this one to a different one. This is the Simple Kind of Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. I like this a lot. It's so gentle, like it is really, really kind of, it doesn't feel harsh on your skin and it definitely does moisturise it and I tend to use this whenever I'm in the shower, I don't use it every day, but yeah, I really, really like this. It says it's got two vitamins and one skin loving ingredient, stuff like that. Um, and this is also really, really cheap, but I can't remember how much this is, but I will link everything that I mentioned in this video down below. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a toner, and this is by the brand Aveda. It's called Botanical Kinetics Toning Mist, and this is literally like a spray that you just spray on your face. Um, I put this on every morning and every night before I put my moisturiser on. This, I don't know why I like it so much. Like, it just smells nice and it's just so refreshing. I don't even know if it does anything for my skin, but I do stand by this a lot. I think I prefer it to other toners where you just squeeze it into the pad. Like, I actually think I prefer this um, because it just works. Like, it, it works. But this is just fun to use, I'm not gonna lie. That's the only reason I like it. This product I wanna show you is another one by Aveda, and this is the Outer Peace Blemish Relief Pads. Now, I believe they're actually gonna stop selling this line which is a big shame because these are amazing like these I had a massive cut sort of spot turned cut in the middle of my forehead but there it was absolutely awful these cleared it up in three days and I was absolutely shocked they're just little pads in there and it smells so good like Aveda products are so so good for you you know there's nothing bad in them and 
these literally cleared me up within the space of a few days and I was loving my life. So yeah, these I would definitely recommend if you have breakouts. Um, I'm not sure if they are stopping selling them anymore, which will be a big shame. I will mention it down below. But I thought I'd just show it anyway, just in case you guys had any alternatives. Maybe you could comment down below if you know of any alternatives like this. But yeah, these are absolutely amazing. I love these. So the next thing I'm going to show you is kind of not skincare but kind of skincare at the same time it's this lip balm by the brand Dr. Pawpaw and it does say it's multi-purpose soothing balm so it's not quite you know it's not quite a lip balm we're still gonna count it um it's like this moisturizing treatment and it's literally like it smells really really good this is like amazing you put it on and you can just tell it's different to other lip balms like it's so good I've never actually used it on any dry patches which I should to test out if it does have multi-purpose but like I put this on before I go to bed because it's so rich and it's so good like I love this stuff um, and I've been using this for like a few months now and I kind of just go back to it all the time so yeah I would definitely recommend this I'm not sure how much it is I will link it down below now these next two products I have literally used for as long as I can remember these two other moisturizers that I use like every single day night and day so the first one is the Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturising Day Cream. This stuff is really, really good. It's for normal and combination skin. So it's kind of a bit of an all-rounder. It's not too oily. It's kind of light, but at the same time, you don't feel like you're going dry throughout the day. Like it will keep you moisturised all day. And this, I literally swear by this. This clears my skin up so much. And I've used this for so, so long. My friend actually got me it a while back and that's when I first started using it. And I love this. And this is... Um, the refreshingly soft moisturizing cream. This also comes in like a tub too. So, you know, however you prefer. I tend to prefer it in the tube, you know, just because it's like more hygienic. These two are absolutely amazing and you can get these in your local supermarket, your local drugstore and they're like under a fiver. So I would definitely recommend these two by Nivea. Now, the next product I'm gonna get onto is some like spot treatment stuff. And this first one is by Aveda again, by the same sort of line as these pads. So I'm not sure if they will be selling this anymore, but this is really, really good. Um, it's the Blemish Spot Relief Cream and you literally just put it onto your spots and this and this combined together is what cleared up the little patch well not little it was huge like the patch in the middle of my eyebrows you can put it on in the day if you're not wearing makeup and like rub it in but you can also wear it at night like you can do both day and night if you rub it in in the day it'll still work um this definitely does work especially on like patches of like spots that you've already picked because this is more of a sort of i wouldn't say moisturizing but kind of moisturising, if you know what I mean. The other spot treatment I would 100% recommend, and this was hyped up a lot, is this Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I have had this for two years. It has not run out. And I know I should probably check it out, but I don't want to. This is a lifesaver. If you have a breakout, you put this on, it'll be gone by the next morning. Like, I, I can't, I just can't comprehend this. Like, this was, kind of a revelation to me this oh my god like I'm I just if you have any like oily patches like white heads they'll be gone the black heads they'll be gone even if you have like a cut like a scar from picking a spot it will just be gone like it's a miracle So, get this, just don't even ask, literally just get it, it will save your life. So that is it, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, I love reading your comments, literally, just, just leave me a comment and make my day. Remember to subscribe, leave me suggestions for videos, do whatever you want, and I hope you have a really good day, and hopefully see you soon, bye!